Number 15. Write a balanced equation for each of the following nuclear reactions. And then we have, we have to write a balanced equation for the production of U239 from U238. And we're going to do this by H2 uh, bombardment. Okay. So this hydrogen that has a 2 on the top, this is a very special form of hydrogen. This hydrogen is not on the periodic table. This is known as deuterium. Now deuterium is known as heavy hydrogen. It's used for uh, tracing. Uh, it's, it's like a tracing atom that you can trace a certain hydrogen, AKA deuterium, um, just to see, you know, where this hydrogen is going in terms of like organic chemistry and, and, you know, and compare it to other hydrogens. But anyway, we just have to write a balanced equation for this reaction. Now, it seems like we're going to be producing something, right? We have to undergo the production of uranium-239. And if you're producing U-239, that means that it's going to be one of your products. And you're going to be producing that from U-238. So if you're producing it from something else, that means that this has to be your reactants because that's your starting material. All right, so at least we have one product and one reactant. So let's write that out. Now, in terms of nuclear reactions, since we're only dealing with atoms here, um, the key thing is that we just have to write it in nuclide notation, which is this notation right here. We generally will have one big box indicating the element or the atom that we're talking about, and then we have two numbers, one on the top, one on the bottom. The top numbers are always going to be talking about the atomic mass, while the bottom numbers are always the atomic numbers. Okay, so, whoop, numbers. So, let's start plugging in some stuff, shall we? So now we know that we have the U-238 as a reactant. So we have uranium, which is big bad U, and they're telling us that this is the top number, right? So that's the atomic mass. So I'm going to put a 238 here. But now the question is, well, what's the bottom number, right? They didn't tell me a bottom number. But remember, the atomic number is always going to be a unique number for each atom. Your atomic number doesn't change for any atom, meaning that each atomic, uh, each atom, right, or each element on the periodic table has its own unique number. So we just got to find out where uranium is. Now, I just took a sliver of the periodic table here. This is F block, which is all the way down at the bottom of the periodic table. And here is lovely uranium. Uranium's atomic number is the whole number that's here, which is 92. So no matter what, if you're calling it a uranium, that atomic number is always going to be 92. And now we know that we just need to have the U239 on the product side. So we're going to bring in another one of these. And it's still uranium, that's what they said, so capital U. But instead, the mass changed, right? The top now is 239, but since it's uranium, the atomic number has to be exactly the same, so 92. Now, let's talk about this bombardment, shall we? Now, if you're bombarding something, right, that means that you're just allowing so many of these, in this case, deuterium, to react with a, um, in this case, an atom. But now the question is, is it going to be on the reactant side or the product side? Well, with this notation, you always will be bombarding the reactants. So a bombardment is always going to be your initial um, starting materials. So in this case, your particle will be on the reactant side. So they could have said they could have said anything. They could have said alpha particle bombardment, they could have said proton, they could have said neutron, they could have said electron bombardment. But since they gave us this deuterium, we have to use that one. So I'm going to say it's this uranium plus, and let's see, I might have to just bring this out a little bit, put it back together, 
I love technology and good to go. Now, they're already giving us all the information, right? Capital H for hydrogen, heavy hydrogen because it weighs two instead of one, and an atomic number of one. But now, don't just box this answer off and call it a day. You have to make sure that all the top numbers on your reactant side equal, think of this as an equal sign, the yield sign, the top number on the other side. So in this case, if I have 20, 238 plus 2, that's 240, uh-oh, that doesn't equal to 239. So we just have to add something on this side to get it to be equal. So we do the top numbers together, we do the bottom numbers, and then we see what the atom is, whether it's going to be a particle or an actual atom. So let's see. We're going to take 238 plus 2, because those are the top numbers for the reactant side, and equal them to 239 plus x. We want to solve for that x. So 238 plus 2 is 240 equals 239 plus x. We know what the x is going to be. x is going to be equal to 1. So I know that my number on the top here has to be a 1. Now let's work on the bottom. Let's see here. So we got 92 plus 1. So 92, just so that everything's written out, right? 92 plus 1 equals 92 plus x. Do we know what the x is? I would hope so at this point, right? 93 equals 92 plus x, and then x equals 1. But now we say to ourselves, well, what is this missing link, right? Well, in this case, since we do have numbers that are both the top and the bottom, we do know that it's an atom on the periodic table. And always look for the atomic number. The atomic number is always going to give you the right answer because um, that number never changes for the atoms. But unfortunately, I didn't put the whole periodic table here, but just know that it's also a particle as well. But your first atom, or your first element, is a hydrogen. This is the regular hydrogen. This is the heavy one that we're bombarding. This is the, the original one. And just know that this is the same thing as a proton. So whether you put a P here instead of an H, Harry, <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> anyway, sorry, anytime I see HP. Um, but yeah, you could have put a P here for proton, and that would have been the same thing. And now this is balanced. So this is your final answer. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. We also have memberships open for the new school semester. So if you want to help us out a little bit more, you can. And then in return, we give back much more uh, because we'll be able to make, you know, more stuff for you guys. And I don't know what that sound is, but... Thank God I'm, I'm ending the video now. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.